Hi guys, thank you very much for joining and welcome back. And if you're just joining, you're more than welcome to go through any of my other videos where we've got some good topics of conversation going on regarding the Essex Boys case. Please feel free to join in wherever you feel fit with any of your ideas, experiences or theories as to what you may think happened to Tony, Pat and Craig that evening on the 6th of December 1995. Please keep it friendly and respectable, that's all I ask. Please don't speak ill of the dead or anybody else who are still around of that matter uh, thank you very much for that I honestly cannot tell you how proud I am of you for getting the channel over the 1000 subscribers mark you know I honestly didn't know that it could happen you know I didn't think it would happen so quickly it's all down to you I thank you so very much this is the email that YouTube sent me it's saying it's gone bananas I've got 1000 subscribers yes and it does say here the, you know next stop 10,000 so let's do it you know share like subscribe if you're enjoying the content of course let's get it out there and let's see if we can make that 10,000 subscribers mark it's all down to you I you know I can't take any credit for this because I don't subscribe to my own channel you're the guys who have done this not me so congratulations to you thank you so very much from the owner of the channel you know that's all I can say um, you make me so proud and I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you like the videos you know and it's because you like them that I keep doing them it would have probably stopped by now if there wasn't any interest but there is and you've made this happen so let's keep it going and I, pre I appreciate it thank you so so very much next stop 10,000 I'm sorry I haven't been around for uh, the last week or so I've been really busy at work that is going to start slowing down as of Sunday so hopefully Monday Tuesday I'm going to be getting back to my uh, regular you know this has become a bit of a hobby now hopefully Monday Tuesday next week I'll, I'll be back to normal normal scheduled broadcasting thank you very much for being patient thank you very much for your comments as well you know there are a few people out there being concerned that I'm not all right because I haven't been around but I am fine I've just been busy that's all Today I'm going to be looking at this very, very, this seems very, very important to me. I, I, I noticed it last night as I was going through this. Now this is Donna Jagger's statement, uh, her police statement, and it's her second one. She, and the first one she describes how Craig bought guns. And in a second one, she's basically, technically, the way I'm viewing it, technically grassing Craig up, grassing Mick up, grassing them all up, basically. I, I use the word grassing. If Craig was alive, and she was making this statement, then it would be classed as grassing. She's basically telling the police exactly what Craig used to tell her. So, you know, had he been alive when she was saying this, it would have been classed as grassing. But obviously he's dead by now. She, But she does go into a lot of detail about what Craig had told her was happening. If you haven't seen the statement, I have made a video already on it. It's called Police, uh, it's called Family Statements Part 1. All of her statements are in there, but you do have to read it. I will be making another video where I'm reading all of this through and going through some of the points. So if you can't read properly or if you can't read because of a small screen or whatever, then um, rest assured I will be going through these statements at a later date anyway and picking up some points. But I was going through this, I'm making a 1k subscriber special and I was going through this statement and it hit me that something doesn't add up here. Something doesn't add up. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this statement, it's from Don Jaggers. It's a second one. And this is where she's explaining what Craig told her was going to happen through the, the coming days or weeks after the Doug Cannabis deal. She tells about the Doug Cannabis. It was crap. It all went back. Pat Tate started threatening Steele and Steele said, we'll get your money back. They all went to Holland to get the money back and it was there that uh, Steele said, look, I'm go I've, got a, I've got a big deal coming up, but he wants to nick it. You know, that that's what he wants. That, that's basically what she's saying. Craig said. Okay, so here it says, I understand that um, 
I understood that Steele had been asked by a London based drugs firm to import 30 kilos of Charlie and I believe that he was going to bring it in by plane from Holland. He had told Pat that he was going to be given £50,000 up front and uh, that he's going to take that to Holland and he was going to bring the Charlie back in company with a member of the London firm. Okay, then she says, the idea was that Pat Tate and Tony Tucker would rob the firm of the Charlie when it arrived over here. Steele had stated that he wanted to share it between them and had told the firm that he was going to land near Clapton. Craig told me that Steele was planning to actually land in South Essex, but I never knew exactly where this was going to be. Craig, Tony and Pat had previously obtained a machine gun from a man called Mad Mickey Bowman and the details of this are subject of a previous statement. She goes on to say that Pat, Tate and Tucker were gonna use the gun on the man from the firm in order to take the Charlie. To cut a long story throughout, basically they're going to rob this geezer. They're going to rob him and then take it to somebody called John McCarthy. And then she says that uh, Craig said that Tucker and Tate have agreed that they were going to rip steel off by cutting three kilos of the cocaine into ten kilos of impure. And just briefly, she says that she didn't want Craig to do it, and Craig convinced her that it was all right, that Mick didn't know he was going to be driving. Right, now this is the interesting bit. She says she gave up in the end because as she gave up talking to Craig, she knew that Craig was going to do it, there was nothing she could do, so she gave up. And she says, I believe that... I believe that by this he was in too deep. Craig told me that the money had been paid to Mickey Steele who had taken it to Holland. The weather had changed and there was now snow on the ground. Craig told me that this was causing them the delay and they were waiting for it to clear. On the day of the murder I was working as normal and I finished at 3 o'clock that evening. Tony Tucker and his girlfriend Anna, Craig and I and Pat Tate and his girlfriend named Claire were all going to the Global Net Cafe restaurant in Romford something is not making sense here because she's saying that Craig has told her that the money which I'm guessing is this 50 grand up front she's saying that it's been paid to Mickey Steele and he'd already taken it to Holland so she's basically saying that Mick was in Holland isn't she or am I missing something there? This doesn't make sense. Why has Mick gone to Holland? So he's got the 50 grand, he's taken it to Holland, what, and now he's come back without the drugs. He's gone, paid the 50 grand, come back to England, now he's got to go back to Holland and then fly them back. That is not, that is not going to happen, is it? Mick's in Holland. She's saying here that Mick's gone to Holland. She's paid the money and he's gone to Holland. So he's gone to Holland. He's going to be bringing those drugs back. So he's already got the drugs. Let's figure this out. So Craig has told Donna that Mick's been paid and he's gone to Holland. Well, what? So Mick's gone to Holland to pick up the drugs, surely, in his plane. So he's flew to Holland with this 50 grand. To pick up the cocaine and he's flying back if that's the case then there would have been a drug drop there would have been a deal they would have been waiting for a plane to land mick would have been in the pilot seat and he would have been flying those drugs in whatever the case may be she's saying there the mick was in holland mick wasn't even there and you know what's just hit me she may have even told us here who the shooter was don't get excited no names but she does say here that so she says he had been she, he had told pat tate that he was going to be given fifty thousand pounds as an upfront fee to take to holland and he was going to bring the charlie back in company with a member of the london firm you know what this really honestly could be it this could be exactly what happened Mick and this bloke from London and the London firm did go to Holland they did go and get the drugs she tells us here that Mick went to Holland so he went with this London firm with a member of the London firm so they flew it back Pat Tony Pat and Craig was sat ready to rob it so the London firm 
moved in knowing that Tony Pound Craig were there to rob them. They must have known or it could be that Tony Pound Craig had robbed these people before. It's very likely that Tony Pound Craig had robbed this London firm beforehand at another point in time. Now Mick and this London firm member have come across with the drugs. Tony Pound Craig sat, sat there waiting to rob it all. No doubt other members of that London firm are sat there waiting as well for the drugs to come in. They've seen Tony Pound Craig pull up. Bang, bang, bang. How dare you? Now that makes real sense, that does. That makes sense. They are waiting for a drug drop. The drug drop is real. They're waiting for Mick, but Tony Pound Craig have turned up to rob it. So the London firm just do Tony Pound Craig. How mad is that? I'll leave that with you guys. Please comment below because that's quite interesting, I believe. Again, thank you very much for your time and your, you know, your, your subscriptions. It really does mean a lot. I hope there's going to be many more videos to come. I'm not trying to solve this case. These things just keep popping their heads up and throwing themselves at me for some reason. This could be, this is probably one of the, one of the best theories out there. Well, I've got to go, guys. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks very much for your patience. I'll be back as soon as possible. I love reading your your comments. So, this is falling into quite a, a like a, a quite an important thing in this case, I believe. So, please leave your comments um, down below. Agreeing or not agreeing, it doesn't matter. You know, let's get that open for discussion. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, guys.